What's up everyone, thanks for clicking on the video. We're gonna be talking about The Witching Hour, which is my most recent short horror film. Um, of, like always, this was done with the minimal crew. I had the producer, Marina Flores, and my wife helping shooting behind the scenes. And of course, the lovely actress, Paulina Vela. Uh, and that was it. So a very small team, this is how we made it, enjoy. Marina Flores, the actress that I worked with on my previous film, Pictures, had offered to help me out on this project. She played the ghost. She was a voice actor playing the girlfriend. She was casting director. She was a grip. She was a script supervisor. But we just condensed all those job titles into one title, the producer. Because at the end of the day, that's what a producer does. They help the director get the movie made. And she went above and beyond. Okay. And uh, in terms of instructions, you're just gonna go to the wine bottle. Paulina Vela was cast as the lead and she was just a pleasure to work with. I do have to credit her with the opening scene. She suggested a phone conversation with exposition explaining that the character is a recovering alcoholic and it definitely added to the film. Once we had our actress, we scheduled two days of shooting, one for the night scenes and one for the day scenes. We shot the night scene first and then the morning scene the next day. Not the best decision, but we were on a tight deadline and only had Friday evening and Saturday morning to shoot, so we really had no choice there. In a perfect world, I would have shot in the morning first and then the night scene the following day just to give us some time to rest. The first thing we did was get the lighting situation down for each scene. After that, we rehearsed and worked out any kinks in the performances. I let the actors interpret the material as they see fit, and if they deviate too far from what I want, I make suggestions to get them back on track. Let's try. Let's just try it without the without that light, okay. and then we'll do. We'll just do one to try it, you know. And if it looks good. As far as the camera work goes, I had a detailed shot list that we followed the entire shoot. Like always, adjustments were made. Some shots were thrown out, and some were added. I can't stress how important a shot list is. It definitely helps you to stay on track, but it also allows you the flexibility to deviate from the list and then find your way back when needed. So we could do the close, if you already set for close up, we could just do the close up. Yeah, so I think the way I also, um, a lot of the, like this stuff. Is Most of the lighting setups were simple and we just really needed a key light that was typically bounced off the white walls to act as diffusion. I wanted this to be dark and moody since it is a horror film. For the hallway scenes, we needed a soft light that didn't look like it was coming from a particular source. We were kind of stuck trying to figure out how to light it and then it hit me. I had just watched the making of Black Swan and I saw Darren Aronofsky use this technique to light Natalie Portman for a scene. Luckily I had a paper lantern so I grip taped my small aperture light inside it and provided just enough light to keep it soft and still dark. However, looking back I would have just attached this to a C-stand and put it in the hallway instead of having Marina carry the light. You see that's the thing, even though I'm happy with the outcome there's always something to learn from filming. That's the most important thing here. Figure out what does and doesn't work and always improve on it. On another note, we didn't record audio because there isn't much dialogue and I wanted more control for all the small sound effects. That means more work for me in post, but it's worth it if the film is just that much better. So finally, the most important shot of the film, the long tracking shot. When I write, I try to avoid thinking as a director or a DP, but sometimes I can't help it. For this shot, we had the camera on a gimbal attached to a monopod. My wife was on the ladder holding it up top keeping it steady and she was watching the LCD screen. I was at the bottom steadying the base and moving it along to follow Paulina's movement. Marina was behind us with the light ready to follow. The lesson with this shot is that we should have shot it first. It would have given me more time to do a few more takes and it would have given us energy to carry into the rest of the shoot. My second takeaway is the lighting. Along with Marina following with a paper lamp, I would have set up at least two soft boxes behind us to illuminate Paulina more. In terms of lighting motivation, this could have been another street lamp in front of her that was off screen. Again, next time I'll know what to do for a shot like this and it'll turn out even better. We powered through the rest of the shoot and wrapped around 1am. We were all dead tired but had an early start the next day. The morning shoot went by pretty quick. It took about a total of two hours and that included driving to the location. Paulina and I met outside of the liquor store to grab this quick shot. It was a simple one take shot, so we did it in about two to three takes. Then we went back to my house, picked up Marina, and then drove to the park. At the park, I didn't have a specific location, but I knew I wanted the majority of the shots to be backlit, so that gave us an idea of camera placement. After the park, we went back to the house and grabbed the shot of Paulina talking on the phone outside of the window. That took about one to two takes. Then after that, we went to my office to record the phone conversation. The second day went a lot faster than the first, but we also had significantly less to film. And that is the end of the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned from it, more importantly. 
And uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all the views, the likes, and for just following me on this filmmaking journey. Um, I really appreciate it. And I just, like I said, I just hope these videos can be educational and help you on your projects. So, because I'm still learning and I'm still getting better. So that's, that's always the goal is to learn and to just improve upon your previous work. So um, thank you again. And I look forward to seeing you or I look forward to you seeing me on the next video. Bye.